Now this is a Rome apple tree and it grows on spurs and that's a spur. There's two spurs. Right there you could have uh, eight or nine apples. Of course the tree makes way more many <laughs> apples than you need on there. There's an art to cutting some of these out. Some people only want to leave one per spur. But uh, there's an art to doing that. If, and another little secret. If you don't take some of the fruit off of your tree, the tree will take it off for you. And you'll come outside and all your fruits on the ground and what the tree did chemically it said i can't grow all those apples so it changes the chemical to drop them and by the time the chemical changes back from some of them dropping more drop than you want so you need to take them off now i know it's hard to do on a big tall tree that's 30 feet tall but they will shed the extra apples they probably set i don't know five six eight times what they need to set and if if you've got like that little stem there growing four apples five apples if it was only growing one you'd have a nice big beautiful apple rather than a bunch of little ones and pound for pound you get more apples by having one or two really big apples and then if you had uh, apples growing on an apple tree down a branch you would try to have them like six inches apart between the apples. And I know it looks horrible because you go, oh man, I got 18 apples on this branch or 25. I don't want to make it only be six or eight, but actually those six or eight will weigh more and taste better than the 25. Because it can't support it so much. So you get a whole lot of apples this big, or you get a big apple. There's it's it's four or five times more weight in it. But anyway, it grows on these spurs. They, they grow apples for years and years and years and years. Don't ever cut off a living spur unless you absolutely have to. But that's where your apples come from. And that spur will do it for a long time. They generally will start zigzagging. It'll come up and next year it'll be over here and the next year it'll be back over here. But it'll be like a big zigzag. When they start growing straight, they're stopping to producing apples. And your flower production will slow down and your apples will slow down. And eventually it won't produce anything and it'll die and you'll cut it off. Like these little things need to be cut off. Now you take this little shoot here. It's not very big. When this one grew, it was a tender little green shoot. And I could have knocked it off with my finger. Same with this one, that one, that one. And it would have been less damage. And now I've got to cut a place that's over an inch wide. Disease can get in there. If it had been that size it's, and I cut it off with clippers, it's less dis opening for disease to get in. If it was a tender little green shoot and I just broke it off, it's almost no opening. So you don't want to let these get this big like mine. But see, all this internal stuff's got to come out. And I'm going to do it even though you're supposed to do it when it's dormant. I'm going to cut that off, that off, that off, that off, that off. This will come out of there. This branch is pretty good. I don't have any problem with this branch. Now you have dormant buds on these things. Some of these open up into foliage. Some of them can make spurs. The spurs grow on two-year-old wood. That grew last year, so you can get a spur on this. But these things will not grow as long as that tip's growing. Chemically, as long as that tip is on here, it's growing. It is preventing anything growing on this branch because all the energy is going into this tip. And since that one split when I tr uh, pruned it back last year, it's growing into two tips. So if you just simply cut these tips off, you will get cane production. Uh, you will get spur production in here for apples later. It is starting to cloudy up. I think we might get some rain. People ask me, should they fertilize their apple tree? If I went, if this wasn't my yard and I came over here to see how the tree was doing, I would say, well, that's last year's growth. Hey, that's my hand from the growth. See that little knob right there? That's where it grew from that year to this year. See the size of the canes? They're about the same. But it grew my hand length, my hand lift. That's probably 18 inches. 10 or 12 inches is, is pretty decent. If you had put 10, 10, 10 on here because you don't really want to put a lot of nitrogen on it. Uh, but if you put a bunch of nitrogen on here, this thing would just keep growing and growing and growing and it will be thin 
and big and long. So you need like a zero 1010, 5 10, 10 if you had to. But I, see, this ground is so good that grew at least 15, 18 inches, maybe even 20 in one season. So it's getting all he wants. Now, if that thing had only grown that far, it needs some help. But you can walk around your tree and find out what it's growing. Now, the little spurs don't grow that fast. But see, that branch grew last year. And see, when they swell up like that, that can be a spur. Here's an old spur. See how they swell up? Where a regular branch doesn't swell up. But you can tell it when it's a spur. So we're going to get rid of the three D's, dead, diseased, and uh, damaged. We're going to get rid of branches that are water shoots. We're going to get rid of some of the upper branches so that sunlight can get in here. This wants to be shaped like a champagne glass. Now you can grow them so they look so like a Christmas tree. But the open centers produce more apples and they generally have better flavor and larger apples because it takes sunlight on the apples to taste the best. You ever notice when you pick an apple out here where it's been in the sunshine, it tastes a lot better than one that's inside the tree? Well, that's why. Now that is an example of an old spur. It's got apples here, apples here, apples here, and apples there. And see it had apples there last year, and the year before, and the year before, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there. They last a long time. This spur's been on here a long time. You gotta protect your spurs, and you gotta grow more of them.